Hi, my name is John Moline. Welcome back to Flannel Graph Basics with By Design Visuals. In our last video, we talked about our easel, we talked about our flannel graph board, we talked about our scissors. And you're going to need those three things for today's video. What we want to talk about is how to cut out our basic water sky background. You'll find it be the very first one in your beginner's flannel graph series. You can just take it out of its plastic case, set that aside, and we just fold this out. Pretty large, very beautiful. I'm going to be talking about how to cut this one out. Now on this, this has a couple of different things. It has your basic water sky background, as I mentioned. We'll talk about that. We're going to cut that out today. But it also has your nighttime sky. We're actually going to cut that out next time when we deal with cutting out all the other backgrounds. Let me show you how to do this. It's really easier if you take your flannel graph and fold it out, put it on a table, something plain, something flat, something dry. Step one, go wash your hands. There's nothing that will destroy your flannel graph faster than dirt. Uh, most of you are going to be in areas where dirt's actually a problem. That's one of the reasons why we put all of our flannel graph in these plastic envelopes that once you're done, you can slip it back in and you can zip it closed and keep it clean and dry and flat. Take your scissors. You're going to notice that there's a black line around almost all of your backgrounds and overlays. You want to cut along that black line, but you actually want to cut that black line off. You don't need it. It's just a guideline. So let me begin. Now I'm left-handed, so some of this might look a little strange to you right-handers. You're going to cut right to this corner. All of our backgrounds have, have these four corners. Even if there happens to be a black line that goes across that corner, don't cut your corners off. Never cut your corners off. Please remember that. When you start cutting into your background, let me go this way as well. You want to cut just a very, very small way into the printed area of your background. Let me move back. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this or not. I cut just a little ways into the blue. I don't want any white on my background, but I do want to cut just a small ways into the background. Nice, clean cuts. And because these scissors are so sharp, this is very, very easy to do. It cuts very, very easily. Now I'm going to cut back this way. Nice, clean corner. Now I can continue. I'm going to cut along this black line, and you're going to do the same on all four corners that you have. Be careful not to cut into the, into the nighttime sky. Now if I would continue this, I can cut all the way around. When you're done with this video, just take this out. I want you to do this at home, wherever you're at. Cut this out. Cut all four corners, but what you're going to notice, the water sky background is unique in that it has this extra white fabric on all four sides. Both sides, this is your bottom with the, with the water, this is your top with the sky. What is that for? Well, I have one here that I've already cut out, and I'm going to show you how this works. Here's a water sky background already that I've cut. It's precise. Lay it face down with the, with the sky to the top and the water to the bottom. Smooth it out. You won't get all the wrinkles out of it, but it'll be just fine. Take your flannel graph board and put it face down with the hook and eye areas to the uh, facing you to the top. What you're going to want to do, take it all the way to the top of these corners. You're going to see that reason why in the next video. Center it between the two, right to the top, and simply fold this down. Press it in. The hooks will grab your flannel graph, and you'll hold it on there just fine. Then you can snug it a little bit. Don't stretch it. Don't pull it. Don't misshape it. And wrap that around. All right, you have your top, you have your bottom. Now, 
doesn't matter which side. Take one of your sides and simply fold it over. But what I want you to notice is this. On the bottom, there are actually two of these strips. This is also a very important design. It's for your overlays, which we're going to deal with in our next video. Snug this up over as well and fold this over. But what you're going to notice is that one of these is exposed. Now you're going to have to cut this. When you first apply this, you're going to have that white fabric all the way over here. Simply take your finger, press it between those two things like that, and then you can take your scissors and right along the side, you can very carefully cut part of this away to expose that other strip. There you go. About halfway up, you can see right to the fold of the board. Cut it off and get rid of it. There you have. Both of them are exposed on both sides. There's a design for that. You can mount that on your easel and you're very, very close to being ready to go. Isn't that beautiful? There's your easel, full size. Here's your water sky background on your flannel graph board. There's your very, very valuable scissors. When you're done telling your story, it's time to go. Put your hand under it, take it off. There you go. Take off your backer board. Fold it back together. That goes there. Now this is very, very important. Please remember this. Whenever you're putting your flannel graph away, everybody likes to fold it so that the pretty side is out. Don't do that. You want it to stay clean. Put it down on a flat surface. Fold it in about a fourth. Fold it in about another fourth. Fold it over. Fold it in half. You're ready to put it away. You can slip it right back inside your envelope. Keep it nice and flat. Keep it nice and clean. Keep it free of bugs. Keep it free of moisture. And all the dirt and all the wear will be on the outside where it won't make any difference. And the inside that really, really matters will stay beautiful for years. Hope you join us next time on By Design Visuals, Flannel Graph Basics. I'm John Moline. Next time you're going to need your scissors again, and we're going to show you how to cut out the nighttime sky and also how to cut out any other, any other background, scenic background that we have. Thanks for watching.